Hey guys, this is Catalan at Pow Gym in Chicago's West Loop. We're going to do a little 10 minute workout last. I'm going to use the jump rope. You can also do the jumping jacks in place. Alright, let's get started. So our first round is about a minute long. So you're doing different types of jumping jacks or you're jumping on your rope. Notice that when I jump rope, my feet are very light. I'm not pounding my feet down. Jump rope is meant to be very low impact, but of course, like anything new, you have to spend the time on building the technique so that you can control the amount of impact that your body receives for this particular movement. If you are gonna change your rhythm up and add a pause in between your hops or a skip, that is great. Whichever one you do, it's just fun. We're just trying to get our blood moving right now. All right. We have about 10 seconds to go, then we're going to do a little bit of stretching and mobility work. Stay focused and time. All right. We're going to start with some shoulder mobility. We're going to go with the rope, front to back, opening up our shoulders. Great. Now from here, I just want to do a little bit of heel walking. So if you don't have a lot of space, just walk around in a circle. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm pulling my toes up towards my shin and dorsiflexing. That's kind of activating that muscle tissue right in front of the shin called the anterior tibialis. Definitely will help with any type of shin splints. And it's super funny looking. Then I like to stretch through my feet, my arches, Lifting my heels up. And then the last one we're going to do until we get back on the rope again is going to be a forward fold or a good morning. As I hinge, I shift my hips back. My toe comes up towards the ceiling. And time. Time for round two. Jumping jacks or rope. All right, so once again, feel free to take the one minute time if jump rope is challenging for you to practice different types of footwork patterns. Anything you can to make it fun. Tripping means nothing. You just get right back on the rope. You'll notice as I jump once again that my arms don't move a lot. We want to keep the wrists at about a 45 degree angle of the hips. So if you notice, my wrists are right at about 45. I don't want to move from my shoulders. That's going to make my movement really inefficient. Coming upon our break and pause. With the rope in hand, we're going to go side lunges together, side lunge. And we're doing this with time, so don't worry about reps. As I make my side lunge, my toes face forward. I sit down and back. My arms are out in front of me. My upper body remains strong. And my back is flat. If you feel like you want to hang out longer in one of these side lunges, that's up to you. Changing the exercise up. Last part of this round, the rope's going to be above my head, and I'm going to go squats. As I do my squat with the overhead position, I want to keep no tension in my neck. My hips sit down and back. And I'm going to stay in a good, comfortable range of motion. All right. Back on the rope or jumping jacks. I'm going to break down a figure eight really quick. So you can figure eight and not jump. Notice that my hands stay on the handles. Then when I want to jump back into the rope, I open. So if I'm here, my right hand opens right across my hip. All right? Try that. Play with that trick. To me, the figure eight is the most important because when you start increasing your jump rope capacity, meaning longer amount of time, I can always recover by figure eight and keep my rhythm going. Right now, we're not listening to music, but man, jumping 
Rose with some of your favorite songs, a little bit more fast-paced, it's really going to get you to work a little bit harder. Beautiful. Rounds over. Roll overhead with posture. Reverse lunge. Step back first. Lower down the second. Step back, alternating legs. As you go into your reverse lunge, make sure you're stable before you lower down. As I step back and lower down, that rear glute is going to tighten and stabilize my hips. No tension in my neck. Whoop. And we're going to carry this through for the whole remainder of the round. So we're definitely getting a little bit more legs in. That's okay though. We have about 10 seconds to go. Let's just even it out on both sides here. And we are back on the road. All right. So you can either stick with the footwork pattern that you're good at, practice the figure eights, or how about we just work on a new footwork? So heel pads. All I'm doing is going from a two foot it's still two feet touching the ground, just one's tapping while the other one's on the ball of the foot. Once you got a rhythm on it, go ahead and just relax into your heel taps. Maybe by now you have some music on in the background, helping to keep you motivated. Excellent. Great. We're going to move on to a curtsy lunge. We're going to take the rope, put it in front. We're going to step back and across, lower down. When you do these curtsy lunges, you do not have to go super deep or super low. Keep the leg in front, that toe facing forward. Adding some additional rotation, I'm going to rotate in the direction that I step. Don't feel these need to be fast either. And it's just a small amount. There's a lot of stability going on here. Once again, if anything we do causes pain or discomfort, don't do it. And go back to an exercise that you find fairly comfortable. We're going to go one more on each side. Excellent. Grab your rope. This is our last round on the rope. So we had heel taps, right? Oh, don't forget your figure eights. Figure eights. Heel taps. Two foot jumps. Heel taps. Figure eight. How about just an alternating run? Like you're running in place. As you run in place on the rope, try to be as quiet as possible. So you can't even hear the ball of your feet making contact with the ground. Almost there. Excellent, you guys. We're going to actually take the rope and we are going to put it down on the ground. All right, we're going to do a little jump squat over. Then we're going to jump squat to the side. Then you're going to jump squat back where you came from. Jump squat, turn back where I started. Jump squat over. Now I'm going to turn the other direction. Jump squat. Now, if you want a higher level of intensity, you're going to pick up the speed and not pause. So I would. Modification.
keep working at your own pace. And that is our round. All right, we're gonna take a second to just turn. I know I said it's 10 minute workout, but we're gonna cool down or warm down. Inhale all the way up with your feet separated. Exhale, hinging forward. Do the best you can to raise your weight down to the ground. We're gonna rock forward and back through our heels. Beautiful. Take the right foot, put it in the center. Wrap the left foot over that leg. Walk back into a town dog. Hold your body here. Drop your knee, press your heel. Drop your knee, press the heel back. One more knee. Heel, now we're going to switch. Put the other side down, wrap the other leg. Knee, heel, knee. Drive that heel. One more. Excellent. We're going to lower down onto our knees. Just take a second to get out of that inversion. Deep breath. And you guys, you did it. A little over 10 minutes. Thanks for working out with me.